is Julia Schwadron Marianelli, and I'm an artist based in South Lake Tahoe. I've been here for about 10 years. Before that, I moved directly to Tahoe from Brooklyn, which was a huge shift in every single way. So I have an artisan residency at the Talak Historic Site where we are, and this building is the original artist cabin for about eight weeks and then you can either live on site in an RV or you can be like me and be a local person and live in town. Yeah, I just started working here a couple weeks ago and making new work. working on this painting of a star lily plant that I found on a trail run. They only grow in one place in South Lake Tahoe in the Washoe Meadows near my house. A lot of the places that I find reference for painting is outside while I'm on the trail. With a friend of mine, we weren't sure if we'd see them yet or if we miss them or they only bloom for a short time. A lot of the work I do comes from imagery that I collect when I'm on a trail run or when I'm outside. Since I've lived in Tahoe, it's like a huge inspiration for me. I admire the life and the psychology of plants, at least as far as I understand it. A lot of it has much more to do with basic survival strategies versus any kind of like moral or ethical rationale for existence like human beings need. A lot of inspiration from finding, identifying plants and seeing them in their different forms throughout the seasons as they change and then um, also just on the way that they are immune to what human beings are doing. They're just doing their thing, reproducing as they will or striving to reproduce. These are surfaces that I'm preparing to paint on. This is a poplin cotton that's been embedded with local plants through bundle dyeing. A friend of mine is a really amazing textile artist and she actually dries and does a lot of dyeing herself. And so I commissioned her to create surfaces for me. She's just much better at it than I am. And so this is all, for the most part, plants that came from her property. And then I'll respond to the paint, with paint to the plant. Uh, language that's already here. I'm interested in trying to have like a conversation with the landscape. And then this is an example of one I've started on. This is a different fabric. This is a silk, so it's a different texture. You can see how the paint penetrates through. Again, Sarah's dyed this for me, and now I'm working on top of it with references from other plants and just looking for that dynamic conversation between the plants and me. original fireplace for the artist cabin from the 1920s. I'm definitely not lighting it up myself, but it's a pretty cool feature of the room. This is another painting in progress, different series than the fabric embedded with plants. This is actually, whereas that's a plant language, this is English, a <laughs> human language, and I often come up with titles for paintings that are like qualities that apply to both the human and plant world. So this one says, a natural wake and it just says it over and over. So that would end up being the title of the painting and then there'll likely be layering of natural elements on top of this at some point. So this is another piece of bundle dyed linen and it's super porous. You can kind of see the light coming through it. But when you flip it over, you can also see some of the, this is matter some of the plant information that's still left in the fabric after the dyeing process and then I'm painting on top of that with other imagery. Mm -hmm. 